Hi guys, Will Pemble here, back in the shop. We are going to work on the rest of the chain lift transmission today. So, the last time we worked on this thing, I just tack welded the corners of these connections together because I wanted to make sure that it was the right size, I wanted to make sure that it was square, and it was really what I wanted before um, I really, really welded it, which we're gonna do right now. Okay, so what we have now is a nicely welded, very strong, shiny-ish, sanded off, no rough edges frame that we can start to mount things on. And as you can see, uh, well, you probably can't see, but I'll show you up close. I've marked off two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 places where I need to drill holes and attach pillow bearings and motors and things like that to the system. So that's what the next step of the process is gonna be and we're gonna start on that right now. Let's drill some holes. Now, as you might imagine, this is going to, when, when this is all put together, it's gonna to be subject to kind of vibrations and tugging and pulling and we've got, we've got a lot going on. And so instead of just drilling bolts drilling holes through here and bolting through the thing, which I think would be pretty strong. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap each of these and put screw holes through and through so that I'll actually have threads in these pieces of the metal and then I'll thread it through, tighten it down, and then once that happens on the other side, I'm also gonna put bolts to hold, it, uh, to hold it together. So I want this thing to be super strong, particularly I want it to be super resistant to vibration. I don't want the thing to like jiggle apart as uh, as time goes by. So I'm gonna be real, real careful about that and, and torque it down quite a bit. So now, what we're gonna do is get started drilling those things together. Okay, so now I have my four big holes here for the motor mount and then I've got some smaller holes here for the pillow brackets which will reinforce as we go. I just want to tack everything into place and make sure it all works and again these these holes are all through and through so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to tap each of these so that I can put machine screws through and then put nuts on the other side of the machine screws to hold everything super super tight so that's next. I love working with metal because it's something I didn't do when I was younger um, and it's like really easy and fun. So, okay, so here is my tap, right? This is a 3 8 by 16, I think. Yeah, 3 8 by 16 and 16 is the number of threads per inch and I've got a 3 8 by 16 screw here that's gonna go all the way through and then I'll put a nut on the other side as I, as I said. But what I'm gonna start with now, I'm gonna start tapping using my awesome tapping kit, which you can get at just old any hardware store. All right. So these are taps because they tap into the metal. And then on the other side of the equation, these are called dies. And what they do is they take a threaded rod or they take a non-threaded rod and turn it into a threaded rod. So you can build your own um, you can build your own nuts and bolts for things if you can't find it at the hardware store or you just want to or you just want to play around and, and do it. So that kind of goes in here, and very simply, you know what we want to do also before we get too carried away? Let's clamp this sucker down so that it's not going to move too much while we're doing our thing. Not a super big risk of moving. And then, you just start to tap very slowly and it starts, the tap has a tapered end. And now see I've already, I've already put the threads in this very, you know, this 16 gauge piece of steel. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way through, I'm going to keep going and then I'm going to tap through the underside of my metal tube here 
And what that'll get me is the threads on the top layer of metal will match up with the threads on the bottom layer. And that will be kind of awesome. Okay, so we end up with a very, a very tightly mounted motor to our frame, right? I feel very comfortable with the strength of this, so let's just keep on keeping on. thing to do now is to turn it on. Okay, I've got my wire plugged in, I've got my little power strip here and it's all kind of ready to go. 
I sort of don't want to do it because I don't want to not have it work. So, okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna turn this thing on, and we're gonna and we're gonna have a go at it. Hey, what might help to turn it on if you wanted to see it go? Why don't you go ahead and click the like button on this video right now? And if you click the like button, I'll turn on the video. Okay, I think enough people have clicked the like button. We're gonna turn on the video now. We're gonna watch it go. Ready? I'm nervous. I don't want to do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> okay, what's happening here? Right? We've got our 1,725 RPM gear that's turning this seven and a half inch wheel, which gears it down to 230 RPM. 230 RPM, one and a half inch pulley goes to a 10 inch pulley, which turns at 37 RPM. And then this is gonna be for our sprocket, right? That's gonna power the lift motor. And so this is like really strong, right? It's got a lot, a lot of power because there's a lot of torque because this thing is spinning so crazy fast. And so we slow it down and that's how we make this awesome contraption work. And okay, so clearly we do not have like a full on chain lift here yet, but I don't think that should stop us from at least lifting some chain. I feel like we've done the work, we deserve to see it do something. So here's some chain that I have that's gonna end up being part of our roller coaster. What I'm gonna do just Flip the switch. Ah. That works. I'm gonna hook this thing up to the lift hill very, very soon. We have our chain lift transmission. It is complete, it is done, it is ready to go. Thank you for helping me with it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for helping me bring physics, family, and fun to kids everywhere. Please like, please subscribe, help me keep it going. I love doing this with you guys. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon.